Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have a beautiful greeting card for you. Um, it says, your kindness means so much more than you'll ever know. It's um, a pretty little greeting that features Stampin' Up's brand new Painted Harvest bundle. And the Painted Harvest bundle is coming in the new holiday catalog. September 1st, this will be available to order. The Painted Harvest stamp set is this gorgeous two-step stamping that looks like watercolor. You get this great um, sunflower. It makes a beautiful wildflower. And these leaves, some beautiful greetings that are great for the fall and for Thanksgiving. And you can bundle it up with the new leaf punch. I just love this new bundle. And of course, if you get it while it's in the holiday catalog, you can bundle them up and save 10% when you buy both products. For this card, I've also used my stitched shapes framelits and my layering circles framelits. And my embellishments on this project are this beautiful classic weave soft sky ribbon. I've got one of these delicate white doilies. I love these, use them for everything. And then these touches of nature embellishments, I have just been using these up. Um, you get lots of vines, flowers, and leaves. They're either white or natural wood color, and we're going to use this little flower today. My stampin' pads for this card are Soft Sky, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Lemon Lime Twist, So Saffron, Soft Suede, and Pear Pizzazz. And the consumable materials that you need for this project are, let's see here, and you don't have to write down the measurements. As usual, there's a project sheet available on the blog, and the measurements and supplies are listed with a full color photo along with a um, link for the video and everything. Okay, so we've got our card base, which is Soft Sky, and it's 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. I have a panel of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter, and a circle of Whisper White that's cut with the stitched circle, not quite the biggest one, and you can use about a three inch square of cardstock to get that circle. Got a three inch square of soft suede, and I cut out the coordinating layering circle with the scallops for the stitch, but I'm gonna save this, and we're gonna use that for these little acorns. Then I have a scrap of pear pizzazz here, and we're gonna use that for our leaves, and I've already stamped and punched one. We're gonna do one more together in the video. The designer series paper that we're using on this card is from the Whole Lotta Lovely designer series paper pack, and I've cut it at this fun little jaunty angle. What I wanna do first is show you how I did that in a way that you can um, reproduce it and keep using it for all of your cards, okay? So I've got my Stampin' Trimmer here and a piece of designer series paper. This time I've got the Spooky Night designer series paper. I'm gonna make a fun um, Halloween card next. And so I thought we'd get a head start on it. This piece of designer series paper measures three and a half by four. And what you wanna do with this piece is put that in your trimmer so that it's to the three and a half line. And I built myself a little template for this and I just throw it in a, in a file. Um, I've got uh, page protectors in a binder and so I make myself little notes like this. And what you wanna do is find your um, two and a quarter on one side and you wanna make a mark. And then you're gonna find one and a quarter on the other side and make a mark. Okay, so you see I've got my two and a quarter, my one and a quarter, and now I'm going to put this in the trimmer so that those little marks are on my cutting line. So there's one and here's the other. And then we're just gonna cut along the line and that gives us two equal parts with that same fun little jaunty angle. 
And now we can make two cards out of it. Now, you saw that I used my little friction pen. I love these. These are um, by Pilot and they erase with friction. So all you have to do is just rub that little mark and it comes right off. So you can see it good and it comes right off the paper. All right, so I'm gonna put these aside for the Halloween card that I'm gonna make. And we'll get to work on this one. Okay, so I have my card base in a bone folder. Let's get that all prepared. We're gonna fold that up. Okay, let's get to work on this Whisper White mat. I've got my Soft Sky ink pad all open up here and my Early Espresso ink pad. And I've got the your kindness means so much more than you'll ever know sentiment. I'm gonna ink it up well with this early espresso. I want a nice, strong image. And we're gonna stamp it here about an inch from the bottom, about a half an inch in from the right-hand side. Okay, got a nice, strong image there and we can put this away for now. Now I'm coming in with a bunch of scrap paper here because I want to protect my surface for just a minute. And so I like to take pieces of my old foam book and we're going to just spread it out here. Got my aqua painter and it's the one with the bigger brush point and I'm gonna just really squeeze some water into the brush and into the lid of this ink pad. Now, I've got that soft sky um, ink and it's all watered down. And what I'm gonna do is just pick up the ink and then flick the brush with my index finger. You see, I'm just tapping the aqua painter against my finger and it's leaving these pretty little speckles of soft sky. All right, I like the look of that. So let's clean off the brush. That's what all this foam book here is good for. And then off to the recycle bin. I'm going to switch my ink pads and while this dries, we'll work on the flower and the leaves. Okay, I've got my pair of pizzazz and I've got my leaf punch. And what we want to do is make sure that we know the orientation of our punch so that we stamp in the same direction, making for easy punching. Now I've got the more solid of the two leaf images. I'm going to ink that up with Lemon Lime Twist and stamp that on the pair of pizzazz. And it's very subtle because it's got this watercolor texture and it's a lighter color than the cardstock. Then I've got the pair of pizzazz ink and the detailed image. We're gonna go ahead and stamp right over top of that Lemon Lime Twist image. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It's gonna have that pretty watercolor image or look anyway. Now we'll line this guy up and punch it out. And set that aside to dry for a second. Now it's time for us to do the flower. We've got our whisper white stitch circle and the two parts of the sunflower. One is more of a broad stroke. It's more of a solid image. It's a little bit larger. There's less detail. We're gonna stamp that with so saffron in the center of our stitch circle. Just give the ink a second to transfer and you'll see you're gonna get this beautiful watercolor effect. See, it's got its highs and lows, it's lighter and darker. Now we're gonna take our crushed curry and ink up that more detailed image. We're gonna line this up and I find that it's easiest to line up the shape of the center and stamp right over. Look at how pretty and dimensional that looks now. All right, let's move these out and I'm gonna bring in early espresso and soft suede. We'll work on the flower center and the acorns now. Okay, we've got soft suede and early espresso and I am going to ink up my flower center full strength with a soft suede, line it up and stamp the center of my sunflower. And then I'm going to get some of this scratch paper again 
and cover my workspace because now we're going to early espresso these little dots and we're going to stamp off and then add those little dots for some texture. And they're kind of subtle when they're stamped off. All right, so there's the texture in the center. We're gonna get our watercolor brush again here, our little aqua painter, and pick up some more of that soft sky. And then we'll just tap a couple of spattered drops on the... All right, it's a very subtle effect. We've got a little sky spatter on there. Let's clean the brush. Now on this scrap that we have left from die cutting our stitched circle, we're going to make two little acorns. And what we need to do is use the very edge of the corner there, soft suede for the little body of the acorn. And we're going to use early espresso for the top. Hmm. Not bad at all. Now, I'm going to clear away the ink pads. I'm going to fussy cut the acorns and we'll assemble this card. Okay, I'm almost done. I've cut my little acorns real close and let's assemble this card. We're going to need some snail adhesive to start with. Okay, let's assemble. I've got some snail adhesive and that designer series paper. Let's put some adhesive on the back there and we're going to line that up across the top of our sentiment panel here. Now on the back we're just a little bit wide so I'm going to just trim that down. Okay. Now the next step here I've got this delicate white doily and we're going to cut straight into the center here and then cut out the middle. Now we're left with a pretty piece of lace and we'll adhere that lace with some tear and tape to the sentiment panel of our card. So we're going to put the tear and tape right across the designer series paper there, all the way across edge to edge on the card and then peel off the liner. Now. What we're going to do is fold under the edge of the doily and tack it to that tear and tape. And then we're going to go right along the edge and just pleat and add the lace along the edge of the pattern paper here. Now you kind of want to Stretch it along its way so it goes all the way from one side of the card to the other. And at the very end, you're going to just pleat it under like this. All right, so we've got our little lace edge. We'll grab our ribbon here. You'll probably need about 14, 15 inches of ribbon. I like to leave it right on the bolt. And we're going to wrap that diagonally over the edge of the lace there. And we'll tie a bow and you can tack it into the tear and tape as you go along and that'll cover any sticky edge that we've got left over. Now for this one I wanted kind of big loops and long tails so I'm leaving a little bit of the excess. There we go. How pretty is that, right? Now some snail on the back here, and we can adhere this to the card base. Now, at this point, let's get some um, dimensionals, and we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of both the sunflower panel and the soft suede panel, we're going to do kind of a double bump.
Okay, I've got all my adhesive exposed here, so let's go ahead and add that scalloped circle and then our flower to the inside there, making sure it's centered. Now we've got our embellishing to do. We've got our little flower, a couple of leaves, and a couple of acorns. I'm gonna get some multi-purpose liquid glue and some glue dots for this. So with my little, my first little sprig, I'm going to put some multi-purpose liquid glue on the stem, and then I'm going to grab a little mini dimensional and put that on the leaf. Then I'm going to tuck the stem right up underneath the bow here. And then this little guy is going to get a bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the stem and leaves, but not all the way to the end of the leaves. And we're going to tuck that guy in right about there. Now our acorns get a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the back. We're going to tuck them in over the leaves. And then a little mini glue dot for the back of this flower. And I want the wood side up. I think the white side would look pretty too, but I want the wood side up. And because I am the way I am, I use two little glue dots. Better to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, there we go. Your kindness means more than you will ever know. I know who I'm gonna send these to. There are a couple of girls who really just helped me out when I was feeling down one day and I owe them a card. So these are going out in the mail tomorrow. If you've got any questions about this card, about Stampin' Up, if you don't have a copy of the new 2017 holiday catalog and you don't have a demonstrator you love, please email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. I'd be happy to answer your questions, get you a catalog, and help you stay crafty. Thanks for watching.